Darren Drysdale has become the first official in two decades to be charged by the FA for improper conduct by squ- I can hardly believe we're saying this squaring up to Ipswich's yep. Alan Judge yep. uh, during the match and he did didn't he you've seen the footage I've seen the footage well it certainly looks like it yeah it certainly looks like it it seems there's a kind of uh, coming together if you like that's yep. the phrase isn't it yep. like a touching of heads so he's come out and he's apologised for what he did and uh, surprise surprise our great old pal Dermot Gallagher said that he did well by apologising I mean come on but mm. should it be going further than that now I'm looking at the messages that are coming in, 8, 10, 89. Keep them coming this morning. Yeah. Should this lad, Darren Drysdale, the referee, now face maybe a one-match suspension? Should they take him out, yeah. the firing line, for one match? What's your take on that? I also noticed that um, various people <coughs> have come out in support for the referee. Yeah. Including the player, uh, Alan Judge. Judge, yeah. Talking about uh, in support of them. It feels to me like a bit like a, a, you know, a day late and a dollar short. You know, the notion that the referee... I have great sympathy for the referee in that situation, but he has to be consequenced. I'm not in the territory of a cancel culture, which means that you just disregard someone's career because of one faux pas. But you can't have the ultimate authority on a pitch bringing the game into disrepute and making themselves not beyond reproach. He's the referee. We know he's a human being. We know there's a background of society's angry right now. We know there's a background of players that con and cheat referees and create a temperature of us and them. We know that in previous in, previous existences, pl- referees like David Ellery have been referred to as headmasters that are contemptuous and look down on players and a bit pious towards players. You can't address a situation of confrontation as a referee like this. You just can't because you're bringing yourself into a situation where you're bringing your profession into disrepute and as much as I want players to be put in their place at times Mm -hmm. I want players to be reminded of their position in the food chain when a referee is the authority on the pitch you can't do it like this you can't do it like this otherwise basically you're lowering yourself to the Mm. level of players at times and players have a bit more of an excuse I listened to Jamie Mackey with you yesterday on Sky saying that players play with emotion they play with a desire to win they, they have gamesmanship at their time and, and, and the, during the game to try and overcome obstacles yeah. he understood all that but he did also encapsulate that as saying well that gives the players a reason for behaving at times the referee doesn't have the same reason that's right besides taking yeah. he yeah. took exception to that player challenging his authority now he the way he took exception should have been far differently than getting in that player's face you Jim I understand why he did it, but that doesn't mean... it's An explanation isn't a justification. I understand the reaction. I, I actually can't, because I don't know where his head was. Well, it was uh, but we haven't watched very the whole much game. on his shoulders. We haven't watched but, the whole game, have we? But we? I can't understand why he would lose it for that moment. And publicly, he knows the sky cameras are there. I mean, there, there's Dan and Leeds. Referees <coughs> should stand their ground 100%. Yeah, of course the they should. should. Now, of course they should. We, now, we totally agree with that, but not like that. But that's my point. But also, we, in our in your piece there about I can't understand where he's... We don't know what went on in that game. We don't know if players are niggling at him, getting at him, winding him up, demeaning him during the game, being dis... We don't know that. I'm not saying they were, but we don't know that. But irrespective of that, he, in the same... Different example, but Greg Clark lost his job because he used inappropriate language because he's held to a higher standard as the FA chairman. Yes. Right? This guy has got to be held to a higher standard... And I don't want him banned from the game. I don't want him drop kicked out of football and cancelled like some people seem to think has to happen if you misspeak or mistread. Right? But he does need to be brought to book because otherwise you open a Pandora's books, bo- a box of what behaviour is acceptable. Oh, he had a bad day at the office. He did this. This was going on. No, Darren, you your, respons- your responsibility was to rise above it, as difficult as that is. And if you can't, then you shouldn't referee football matches. 